So you just bought a 480 Hertz OLED and whoopsie doodle, time to throw it away because 4K 1000 Hertz is actually here and working right now, as you can see by this image from a Flat Panels HD article showing off the brand new monitor from TCL who unveiled a ton of new interesting displays during Display Week 2024. But hold on, I can already hear the clacking of keys and gnashing of teeth and rage as someone types out how useless a thousand hertz is and how no games will be able to run, yada yada. Yes, I hear you and you are correct that you won't be able to run a modern AAA game at 4K 1000 hertz natively, even with an RTX 59 let alone something more reasonable or even a console. But that's not why we're creating 1000 Hz monitors, and yes, there is a substantial benefit to reaching 1000 Hz as you can see here in this Blurbusters article. Take a gander, fellas, because 1000 Hz is roughly when motion becomes near indistinguishable from screenshots, and at least I would consider it to be the end game refresh rate for monitors and TVs, especially considering that we don't need to drive every game or application to exactly 1000 Hertz to have it be beneficial when it should hopefully have a VRR range of 48 to 1000 and we have technology such as lagless frame generation outlined by blur busters here assuming all goes as planned and really there's no reason not to push frame rates higher regardless of if we can or can't always take advantage of them in every single application so with that aside hopefully we can now all agree that more hertz equals more better and for that reason it is incredibly impressive to see TCL wheeling this thing out, but there is one problem. According to the article, it looks like this is just an LCD display, so no mini LED or OLED at 1000 Hertz yet, unfortunately, but that doesn't mean it won't happen. We're already gonna be seeing 1440p at an, let me put my journalist spin on this, eye-watering, face-melting, retina-searing, brain-frying, hopefully I got them all there, 480 hertz later this year and according to blurbusters it looks like a thousand hertz oled could be on track to release sometime in 2027 so just well i say just but my god yeah a whole three years away the question is will we see 480 hertz make its way to the next generation of 32 inch 4K OLEDs first, potentially by next year. Personally, I think in 2025, we will see 4K OLED monitors increase in brightness substantially before moving on to 480 Hertz in 2026. However, I could be wrong as LG is clearly close already with their dual mode 240 slash 40 Hertz OLED already. So perhaps, LG will have an option available to all us armchair pro gamers wanting to play single player games at 4K and then maybe resize it down to a smaller 1440p at 480 Hz to effectively get two monitors in one. Now all that's left is to quit our jobs and start streaming to a spanking one viewer on Twitch while ingesting life-threatening levels of caffeine in our gamer chairs and we're just one step closer to the perfect being. <laughs> Whether you're looking to connect a new console, gaming PC, or just need a fast and reliable HDMI cable to connect over long distances, Rupro has you covered with their certified 8K HDMI 2.1 fiber optic cable available in sizes of up to 50 feet and can deliver a perfect full 48 gigabits per second connection over distances other cables could only dream of reaching. And with 48 gigabits per second, a bandwidth it can easily drive 8K 60 FPS or 4K 144 FPS 10-bit HDR video through its ultra thin, flexible, and durable housing, and it even supports ER. So if you're in the market for a cable that can drive a beautiful new TV or monitor, be sure to check out RuPro on Amazon today.